On August 14, 2023, the Polish Ministry of Defense announced through its Twitter account its commitment to enhance its military capabilities by acquiring hundreds of Raykolt Kia 4x4 light tactical vehicles, KLTV. As outlined by the military authorities, a contract for the supply of nearly 400 such vehicles has been officially approved. This acquisition, valued at approximately $300 million, is planned to take place between 2024 and 2030. The Raykolt light reconnaissance vehicles will be allocated to the reconnaissance units of the Polish Armored and Mechanized Forces. The conflict in Ukraine has unequivocally demonstrated that enhancing reconnaissance capability translates to subsequent successes on the battlefield, stated Polish Defense Minister Mariusz Blazak. Moreover, they will be manufactured at the Rozomak factory. The Raykolt Kia 4x4 light tactical vehicle, KLTV, also known as KM1, is a 4x4 utility vehicle of the third generation manufactured by Kia Motors in South Korea. It entered production in 2016 and has been utilized by the South Korean Army since then. Initially developed in collaboration with the Ministry of Defense to address the needs of the South Korean Armed Forces, the KLTV boasts a modular design, offering various configurations including standard, long wheelbase, armored, and armed versions. The KLTV was first showcased at the International Defense Exhibition and Conference IDX, in 2015, held in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. It has been featured at numerous global defense exhibitions since then. Official production began in June 2016. The vehicle can accommodate up to four individuals in its four-door variant and is available in a single cab option as well. It offers both standard and armored variants, with the latter incorporating features such as bulletproof windshields, composite panels, mine-protected flooring, and more. The KLTV can be equipped with roof-mounted weaponry, ranging from 7.62mm or 12. 7mm machine guns to automatic grenade launchers and anti-tank missiles. An energy generator can be added to power remote-controlled weapon systems and other electronic equipment. The purchased vehicles will undergo adaptation specific to the Polish market, including a modernized body to meet national requirements. Over time, Rozomak SA intends to gradually shift component production to Poland, involving the transfer of various technologies, including body manufacturing. These acquired vehicles will feature bulletproof protection compliant with Stanag 4569 standards, a 225 horsepower engine, and an independent suspension system. Additionally, they will be equipped with a roof-mounted rotating turret, capable of housing a machine gun or grenade launcher. The KLTV is utilized by the South Korean Armed Forces and other nations such as Mali in peacekeeping and counterinsurgency operations. The vehicle's appearance in international defense exhibitions has attracted attention from countries like Pakistan and the Philippines due to its characteristics and versatility. The KLTV's run-flat tire inserts allow it to travel up to 48 km at speeds of 48 km per hour even with a damaged tire, ensuring continued mobility. It excels in challenging terrains, from cross-country to desert conditions, and can operate within temperature ranges of 32 degrees Celsius to 43 degrees Celsius. The vehicle showcases impressive off-road capabilities, capable of handling depths of up to 76 centimeters, side slopes of up to 40 percent, and gradients of 60 percent. With a top speed of 130 km per hour and a range of 600 km, it embodies both agility and endurance across various scenarios. Its adaptable design suits a range of tasks, including troop transportation, patrolling, command and control, reconnaissance, and logistics operations. To date, according to Stockholm International Peace Research Institute CIPRI, Poland has taken significant steps to enhance its defense capabilities by concluding several strategic arms contracts. Among these, they have acquired K-2 Black Panther battle tanks, K-9 Thunder self-propelled howitzer systems, and K-239 Chunmu self-propelled howitzers. Lastly, in the aerial domain, Poland has invested in modernizing its fleet with F-A-50 fighter aircraft.